I'd only reverse down the canal to do a bit of refueling by the time I come back, someone jumped in my grave. However, big thank you for all you coffee buyers. Now on the right, there's a nice boat. It's on the permanent moor inside. Got two captain's chairs on the front of the boat. There's loads of windows. I'm sure it's quite cold in the winter. However, under the trees, well, you get that green stuff, don't you? I wonder how much electricity that creates. Should have asked him. There we go. We're moving from Cosgrove, which has got decidedly busy over the past couple of days. So the narrow boat in life has started. It has properly started. Springs here, nice sunny day. And I'm just about to go over the aqueduct. location at Wolverton with a bit of art deco thing architecture I don't know anyway go across this bridge turn right at the end and then you get to Tesco and McDonald's montage kind of makes sense now because Wolverton was the start of the railways. I often wondered why it was there and now I know. Lydia. I think it's Dean Friedman. In the 1970s. I'd like to sing it. Lydia, Lydia, how come you understand? I can offer you nothing at all. This is more than I have planned. Anyway, he sang it a lot better than me, but I did like that song. Some brand new houses look, not even moved in. And these moorings on the left are by agreement only. When we get there, we'll throw a big feast. Very nice. With pina coladas, hand in hand, not out of reach. Higher. Yeah, we'll.
completed the new manor house just a few years earlier in 1697, William Pritchard commissioned these Alms Houses, six single cell rooms with a centre block for the warden. Oh look, right in there, right what can we see? An old Belfast sink, table with some Costa coffee. Costa coffee's been around for a while, hasn't it? Hey? But I think that the point is quite a small place. And the warden, well, he gets a four bedroom house look because it goes up there, those two rooms up there. There's a beer bedroom, that a bedroom, and some reception rooms. Yeah, I'm putting today's sort of language in it. But that's today's language, four bedroom house. You can imagine, can't you? The horse and cart would have been coming around this way. I assume it's this way. I don't know. Parked outside the front door and probably gone to the stables around there. <laughs> Art Centre. Workshop in there, look. Well, it says workshop. Oh, fuck. So in this graveyard, somewhere, I can spot it now, is Commonwealth War Graves. Let's see who it is. Probably a good place to um, see out your time. Well, not see out your time, but you know. Anyway, here we go. Private Turner, Royal Army Ordnance Corps. Christmas Day, 1941, age 33. Oh. It's no good time to die, but you know, and I don't suppose family at home were celebrating Christmas in 1941 as such, but to lose someone on that day, well, you know, not good, not good. But that's the only war grave here, but nice location, I have to say. Nice church. Peaceful. And the birds tweeting. Gives it that tranquility, doesn't it? In 1877, to live as long as 84, did well. Even today's standards, that's pretty good. Great place to moor if you can find a mooring spot. We're at Lin Great Linford. A popular theory for explaining how Great Linford got its name involves from a small tree or small leaved European lime or linden trees, it says here. The name is thought to refer to the river crossing point or a ford where there were linden trees. Hmm. Anyway. This is a nice little spot. Actually, somewhere I will try more next time. And there's a lady down there that says, hello, Chris, I watch your channel, thank you.
and she's a permanent mora. So whoever you are, if you're still watching, thank you for popping your head up to say hello. And I think you've got a great mooring spot. There we go. I want you to imagine as you're looking up towards those two things, pillars, there'd be a grass slope and that would have been heading down, I don't know if the can canal was here then, but it would have been quite nice because there was a, a sort of a garden house like, um, I don't know, I'll just read the instructions again. Designing a pleasure garden in the 18th century meant creating an atmosphere of charm and variety. Bridges and fanciful buildings amongst winding pathways were frequently featured. Oh, very nice. And in the 1790s, that's what it would look like. Lovely. Even these new houses are built quite nicely. School, I think. This is a nice place. And I think springtime brings out the best. You know, a bit of blossom on the tree. Leaves coming out on the trees and budding nicely. Spring in the step. Certainly my step. Looks like an old people's home. Yeah, residence parking only. For the old and bold. Chapel there in 1833 that's now converted into a house. Outside toilet. Nags Head Pub, or should I say the Nags Head with a silent H. This is an old railway track. Calling it Great Linford. That musical interlude I chose for the clicky, clickety clack of what I thought sounded like a train track anyway. Um, great Linford. Milton Keynes, great place. I didn't realise how, how diverse Milton Keynes is. Over the next coming weeks, I'm going to do a little bit more on Milton Keynes. I don't know how many weeks it's going to last. Um, however, you know, there's lots going on. Um, I did some shopping. I visited some people on a boat. Lots going on. So oh, I thought I'd document it. For all of you boaty type people that want to um, stop at Milton Keynes, it is a great place, um, surprisingly. And, um, well, that's the end of this vlog. I want to try and keep them short-ish. I mean, this is 15 and a half minutes already and I waffled on a little bit more. So I'm not going to waffle on too much longer. Some of you will be saying thank goodness for that. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, those of you that are subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, give it a go because, because I do all sorts of stuff. Narrow boaty, some interviews, visiting places that you could see on the narrow boats. And uh, it's free. You don't. I've been asked to tell you that it is free to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up as well. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, so until then, ciao, Papa.